Mary Kay, uh, we've talked about you being at the owners meeting. What was the biggest takeaway? Uh, I know you talked to the Haslam's, you talked to Andrew Berry, you talked to Kevin Stefanski. Um, it's the first time we've gotten to talk to him in a little bit. What was the takeaway from, from those owners' meetings? You know, each one of those, um, you know, groups of people that we talked to, um, you know, we had takeaways from every single one of them. Uh, I think with Kevin Stefanski, one of the biggest takeaways that I got out of it was that, you know, he really is going to put a lot on Deshaun Watson's plate and he's going to take under advisement what Deshaun Watson wants to run in this offense, that he is going to give him uh, a lot of say at the line of scrimmage and during the week and in the offseason uh, to kind of make this thing his own and, and let him figure out how to own this offense. So that was from him. And then Andrew Barry. He's not done yet. He's still working on trying to hone and shape this roster. It's still early. He still has the whole draft. Uh, you know, he still has some free agency left. He's got trades. So, you know, anything can still happen at this point. And then from, from the Haslam's, you know, we talked stadium to them for a while, and that all was interesting. But in my mind, uh, the biggest takeaway, again, from them was just uh, the notion that, you know, this is a year of high expectations and that uh, everybody is – on the same page, thinking that this has got to be a postseason year. How anxious do you think um, Kevin Stefanski and Andrew Barry are to have a quote-unquote normal um, mini camp, training camp? I mean, you, if you think about it, it was two years of COVID protocols, a year of not uncertainty with Deshaun. How, how anxious do you think they just they just want to go and, and be able to get ready for the season? Well, you know, the minute you say normal about a season, <laughs> it's the minute it's no longer normal, right? Um, so uh, you probably just jinx them. No, I'm kidding. But, um, you know, you, you just, you never know what's going to happen. You never know. I mean, on September 25th of last year, did we think that Miles Garrett was going to flip his Porsche multiple times and almost not make it? Uh, you know, you just never know what can happen, especially when you're dealing with 90 different players. I mean, look at just, you know, just yesterday, Michael Woods ruptured an Achilles. Now, uh, you know, fortunately for them and for Michael, you know, fortunately, this wasn't a situation where Michael was going to be called upon uh, to shift the balance of power in the AFC North this year. He's a developing young player, so it wasn't necessarily catastrophic to the plan. But in any given moment, anything can happen. But you're right. Uh, it should be kind of quiet. Now, they will be breaking in a new defensive coordinator and a new special teams coordinator. Uh, so it's not, you know, it's not going to just be, uh, you know, the way that it was last year. Uh, but they definitely will hope to have a little bit more of a calmer offseason. Yeah, you know, football changes are good changes, I guess, uh, it, when, it's, when it's been the other things that have been affecting.